So today's job is on my Ellie the Steam Trams. Uh, yes, on my Ellie the Steam Trams. So a problem with um, oscillators uh, is that you tend to get quite a lot of condensation when they first start up. So um, the way I fixed this on my um, Dave Wadkins Idris was to make a water and oil separator. So if you, if you look, this is the exhaust from the engine. It comes into this hollow um, container here. Um, and the pipe, the pipe is almost touching this far wall. So that the what tends to happen is, is that the, the water and the oil hit the side wall and, and tend to drain downwards. And then that allows the, the steam to go upwards. So you notice the steam pipe in and out are the same size. So you get fairly dry steam going up the chimney. And then I've got a smaller pipe at the bottom for the oil and oily water to come out of. Um, that then goes onto the track. So what that means is, is that when, when the loco first starts up, you don't get um, oily water in your hair, basically, or up your nose, or in the general surrounding area and covering all of the um, loco and track and <laughs> whatever. Okay, so I've got, got a drawing of what I need and um, so the next job is to cut up lots of bits of pipe. So this is 4 mil outside diameter pipe that I'm cutting here and I'm using a sort of a, a normal tube type cutter. And, and the 15 mil pipe I'm just using a standard plumber's um, pipe cutter which you can get from any plumber's merchant. Okay, so we've got all the pipes uh, cut now. Um, as, as you saw, I, I was using this very small pipe cutter for most of it, um, which is a 3 mil to 22 mil, and just the um, normal plumbing uh, pipe cutter uh, for a 15 mil pipe. So we've got our three different lengths of um, small small pipe and we've got our uh, we've got our main bodies cut so the final thing to make now is the um is the caps that go at the top and bottom so after, after um drilling drilling the four mil hole i'm then using a parting tool to make a little lip which will sit inside the main body and then finally i'm coming in with a, a normal turning tool to make the cone shape Okay, so that's the end caps done. Uh, I've made the bottom cap slightly longer. It's like a couple of mil longer just to add a bit of interest. So I'm dr drilling the cross hole five mil uh, down from the edge. So I've, um, I've aligned the, the pipe with the edge of the vise and then I'm coming five mil down from the, uh, the, the fixed jaw. Um, yeah, so centre drill, drill four mil, so it's a reasonably tight hole so it doesn't move too much when being heated. Okay, that's all the um, 15 mil pipe uh, cross drilled. I'll just um, set up this pipe just as an example, show you roughly what the position is. So you, you want kind of like whatever the internal diameter of the pipe is a gap on the sort of far wall. So that, that means that that the steam, or the oily steam, will really hit this side wall quite hard, um, and that will cause any any liquid to in, impinge on the side, and tend to stick to the side and drop down, and then any steam will rise upwards, uh, and then that will fit on the top. So you can see there's, there's space there as well. Um, so that's the, the basic idea. So we've got a slightly larger cone at the bottom with the, the three mil pipe. We've got um, a slightly flatter top uh, with the um, four mil pipes. So that's your, your clean exhaust steam going up to the chimney. And then this is the this is the pipe from the, uh, the cylinder. Okay, so I'm just do, doing a, a dry fit um, before we get the flux on. So I've got um, uh, one of my more rusty engineers clamps holding the two end caps in place and I'm supporting each of the pipes at the end with some broken off 
um, sight glass tubing. So this is obviously heat proof. Um, so I think that that will do. That just sort of holds it roughly level. So I need to flux this up and uh, get silver soldering, I think. So I'm fl flux the um, cross pipe first, then the end caps, and then finally the top and bottom pipes. And uh, then just squeeze it into the clamp so it's held nice and tightly. I'm using a, a larger burner so I can get up, get up the, t the heat into it quite quickly because it's all copper and then just dabbing on the silver solder. Okay, so after a little bit of silver soldering, uh, we've now got four um, water separators. Uh, I'll need to give these a good soak in some hot soap, in some boiling soapy water to get the rest of the um, flux off. Okay, so I've um, cleaned these up now. They've been in the pickle bath for a little while. Um, I've checked them with air pressure. Um, one of them did need a little bit of rework. I think it was this one. Just needed a bit of extra silver solder. So um, just just to get you back on the alley so you can see um, how it's going to fit. So this, this pipe will basically replace this one. So I need to bend it in quite a sharp curve. And then the actual body will um, sit about opposite the, the motor. Um, I need to drill a, a hole in the base plate for this um, water pipe to go through. And then I shall bend it forwards so it just goes underneath them. Um, so it goes underneath here. So you actually get you know a bit of steam and, and excitement coming out the front uh, when it gets it first starts up. So th this um, this longer pipe will be bent over to the chimney and then another 90 degrees so it's pointing upwards and that will be the clean exhaust steam will get then go up the chimney. If there's any excess I'll just uh, chop, chop that off later. So I hope you found that interesting, um, useful. I say it, it is a very good upgrade for a, a smaller loco. It just really helps some. Um, filter out all the, all the water from the steam. Um, yeah, so like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.